The first step in establishing a high jump approach for a new jumper is to make two educated guesses at two key approach distances. The first distance to estimate is the distance from the near standard to the bottom check mark. This distance basically establishes the tightness of the curve. Ideally, we want the curve as tight as possible because a tight curve generates greater tangential forces. However, tight curves are very difficult to run, especially for faster athletes, and a curve that is too tight will result in poor running mechanics. This distance can range from 9 to 15 feet. The distance is ability-based, so greater athletes can use greater distances. High speeds result in less reliance on the tightness of the curve to generate tangential forces, so faster athletes use greater distances. As a general guideline, estimate your jumper's predicted best performance in feet. Then, multiply the predicted performance by two and add a foot. This will give you a good, safe starting point. For example, if you have a jumper that you expect to jump about five feet, five times two is ten, then adding one foot gives a mark of eleven feet. The second distance is the distance from the bottom check mark to the top check mark. Since better, faster athletes have longer stride lengths, this distance is often ability-based as well.